Greetings, athletes. Today, we'll be talking about some amazing badminton tips that you dreamers can use to enhance your game. So let's begin. Grip on the badminton. Make sure that you find a grip for your racket according to the size of your hands. While you're holding your racket, make sure that you're not grasping it very tightly. Have a relaxed grip with a flexible wrist to perfect your shots. Keep your racket up. Don't lower your racket after you've played your shot. Make sure that you keep it up and point it outwards in a position where you can easily approach the shuttle when it comes to you. Focus on your footwork. While you're in the court, avoid running from one place of the court to the other, spending too much energy and time in the process. Analyze the court carefully so you take as few steps as possible to move around. Use your head while you're playing. While keeping your physicality intact, invest your brain power to perfect each and every move you make in the court. Make sure that every shot you make has a purpose. Don't ever take your eyes from the court. Keep a central base position. Once you've executed your shot, return to a central base position. Make sure that you position yourself in the middle of the area to reach opposing shots easily. Check the shuttlecock flight. Always observe the flight of the shuttlecock while playing. It's possible that due to damage, the shuttlecock might wobble during its flight. If you have your eyes on it, you'll be able to protect its movements. Always be prepared. Since badminton is a fast-paced game, you'll have to move very quickly and efficiently. Make sure you have a sense of your body and its limits so you don't push yourself so hard that you injure yourself. Perfect your serve. While serving in a singles match, make sure that your long serves do not end up closer to the middle of the court than to the back. While serving in a doubles match, make sure your short serves do not end up too high over the net. Body balance. Make sure that you maintain a good body balance by using your non-racket arm as a balancing mechanism. Make sure that your trunk stays upright with your non-racket arm on the move. Whenever you're near the net, your non-racket arm should go to the back of the body. Whenever you are on the back of the court, your non-racket arm should be standing in front of the body and raised, making it a counterbalance for your racket arm. Make sure that you keep your center of gravity as low as possible so they're able to move without applying a lot of force. This is it, folks. Make sure you go through each of these tips before you play. Share with us your experiences in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.